Cornchurch. Yeah. The final Wembley. Yeah. Particularly. You didn't start that game, but you definitely had a massive impact. Why didn't you start the game first of all? So let's go back. Okay. Quickly to the semi final. Okay. So the semi final was more memorable to me than the final. Mm -hmm. And everyone thinks, everyone says, what? You played at Wembley? Mm -hmm. Semi final, we was in COVID first and foremost. Mm. I was on dual registration because I was at Dartford as well, because we obviously COVID hit. Hornchester's League got locked off. Mm -hmm. I got a dual reg move to Dartford. Yeah. Then COVID hit at Dartford's League. So it was like, whilst Hornchurch were playing the trophy, I was playing for Dartford. And then I'd come back if Hornchurch had a trophy game. But mm. they didn't have any league games. So I was playing for Dartford mm. League and then going back and forth. And then there was one particular game where I think Hornchurch were playing Aidstone, maybe, I think. And Dartford were playing Welling. Mm. And that was that was the trigger. Luckily, the following week, Dartford League got locked off anyway. Mm. But that was the trigger to tell me I'm going back to Hornchurch, irrespective. Mm. Because the Dartford manager at the time, Steve King, I love Kingy, but what he did was dead. So I'm saying like, bro, what he should have done was pulled me and said, you're not going to be involved this week mm. um, or, or, or on the game on Saturday. So go, go and play with Hornchurch. Mm. And, I, and I, I gave him the opportunity. I said on Thursday training, if I'm not going to be involved, please tell me. I even came to Dartford's game with both tracksuits. Yeah. Mm. Oh, both tracksuits. Yeah. So my tra- Hornchurch tracksuit was in my car. I came in my Dartford tracksuit. He didn't name the squad. Until you know, man, you uh, name the squad early doors. Late, like, the, late, between between yeah. twenty two and two o'clock, the, mm. the team's announced. Ten part five, five six of ten past two. He's named the squad. I haven't even got. I still got time to probably get to Hornchurch, but Hornchurch obviously named the team by now. Mm. So what can I do? Mm. So I wasn't in the squad. Well, I remember Cookie tore us up. We drew two two, I think. But and I was like, and I'm just, I'm as I'm, I'm, I'm in the stands watching the game. And I'm just watching, I'm just watching Hornchurch's game on my phone. <laughs> mm. I'm literally like this. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh Cookie scored. Darth has scored. Oh, great. Mm-hmm. I'm like this. I'm like, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, what's going on? I'm like, Hornchurch, one, five, four. Like, buzzing. So, when I did come back to Hornchurch for the trophy games, because the rounds before, them man had done so well, mm. I was never going to start because it's got out of respect for Manchester yeah, yeah, yeah. These men have been here grafting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've gone to Dartford. When you come back in, listen, got to let them do their thing. So the semi-final, Notts County, we saw that draw and we was like, well, right, it's been a good time. It's been, it's been a great run. <laughs> the fairy tale's over. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, if that game had gone to extra time, the fairy tale was over. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Empty stadium, Notts County. I remember when, even when we pulled up. I still got, I got, I, I see me, I'm an energy a jokes guy, so I'm saying, but, we pulled up to Notts County. I was like, yeah, they man, they man are like overawed. Like, this is nuts to them. Like, mm. Notts County. I'm like, bro, like, man, was playing them, that, that one over there. The other not in them one, like, a few years back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is nuts. This is nuts. I'm saying, but I can see, tell that some man, like, this is a this is a big deal. Mm. There's a few players in, our, in the Hornchurch team that play pro. Like, they, mm. they, they, they used it, but the majority hadn't. So, in Notts County, empty stadium, I'm thinking. And then it brings me on um, at three. Or 2-1 No yeah I think it's 2-1 Then we went 2-2 Then I think we went They went 3-2 And we thought oh, it's gonna be, Oh we got done And literally I just remember Saying to Ricky Hells Just, just put him down the channel Just put him down the channel Bend it down the channel I said mm. and I remember saying to Ruffy Me and you are going to Change this game So I'm saying Because Charlie Ruff was, wasn't, mm. We didn't start either yeah. And I remember saying to Ruffy Me and you are going to Change this game Ricky Hells put it down the channel And I said, I said Ruffy, somebody's going to get the dick off flick to me as well. So the dick off flick is when I flick it over someone's head like Matt mm, Latissier. Mm, I used to mm. love Matt Latissier. Flicks it over my head for fun. So I've gone down the channel, flicked it over my man's head. I heard, dick out! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see my man. I just know that's Ruffy yeah. and he's back post. Yeah. So I just lifted it back post. He's headed it back across. Mm. Nashi scored 3-3. Free, free. We went mad. Because mm. we know this is the final kick of the game. Mm. And we know there's not extra time. Mm. This is getting penalties. <laughs> and, and, and deep down, we're like, we know Wright is that good, Joe Wright and goal. Mm-hmm. He's that good. He's going to save a pen. Mm. We've got a chance here. Oh my God. And I'm thinking, Jesus. So, says to us, oh, name the five penalty takers. I just looked at the gaffer. I said, five. <laughs> don't, don't care about anything. Five. <laughs> so 
so he's seeing man go up. See, so I think I think right he saved the third or second one. I think mm-hmm. he's the second one. And then I'm like, oh my God. At that point, mm-hmm. nerves, butterflies. I won't say yeah, nerves, yeah, butterflies yeah, start yeah. kicking in because I know it's coming down it's to me. It's the excitement, mm-hmm. yeah. It's coming down to me. 100 percent So I'm like, and I because I don't believe any of my teammates are gonna mm-hmm. miss. Another one scores. They score. Another one scores. They score. Like, well, and I remember stepping out, I think it's myself. <clears throat> this is my stage. This is my time. This is my platform because I haven't had an a, opportunity during this whole church journey mm. to put my, yeah. my mark on it. Yeah. And I said, I'm going to enjoy this. I stood at the edge of the box for time. If you watch this, watch it on YouTube, <laughs> wherever, I was there for a time. Empty stadium, no one Empty there. Empty stadium, no one there. Just like yeah. a few little directors, yeah. whatever. But mm. I stood at the edge of the box for time. Like, but people are watching it and streaming it. Mm. Then I've done my normal side jiggle jiggle, gone to the ball, wrapped it to mm-hmm. it. And I just went mad high knees, ran right to the right <laughs> straight away. And I was like, ah. And that was the moment when I said, okay, whatever happens from now on in, mm. I've got my mark at home church. Like, mm. that's it. But what everyone else is thinking is, we're going to Wembley. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've never played at Wembley. That's nuts. Whole career, 36 years of age, mm. I've never played at Wembley. I was like, mm. who am I gonna invite? Mm. <laughs> you invite everybody, bro. That's all I thought. All I mm. thought was my whole journey and my whole football career. My my parents, my parents have been to that Gillingham games, my, yeah. my sister's been to a few games, my brothers have been there, my cousins, whatever, my aunties. And at that point, I'm coaching now, I'm starting mm. my business. Mm. So I'm starting my business. So I've got all these kids that I'm, I've got. And I was like, all I, all I was thinking was, how many tickets am I going to need? Because who am I going to invite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This experience isn't going to be just about me. This is going to be about my whole family and yeah. my mm-hmm. family and letting them experience what, just a small part of what yeah. I've been through. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yes. So when we get to Wembley, when we get to the chairman, chairman says, oh, how many tickets do you need, Dick? I said, he said, everyone's getting 40. I said, nope. <laughs> you guys need to double that. I said, I need at least 80. <laughs> I said, I need at least 80. He was like, what? I said, listen, my dad's making calls to Ghana right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it. Like this is this is get this is very real. Like people are coming over if they if necessary mm. during COVID if they have to because <laughs> they don't want to miss this. Mm. I said I'm gonna need more than two, more than more than forty tickets. And plus I've got my kids that, that I've been coaching. Mm. Mm. And for me it was what's more inspiring than watching yeah. your coach. Mm. Mm. Who, right, on the biggest in the biggest thing like at Wembley, yeah. Home of football. With, that, that's mm. every child's mm. dream in this country. So I'm saying to play at Wembley, mm. to go to watch games and mm. FA Cup finals, but to be there and watch it themselves. I was like, I, I just got every single one of the kids' tickets. My family was almost sec- almost almost secondary, but I was like, look, my core family, mm. my core, my closest friends, my free- people that come to watch me over the years and see my journey. Um, and that was the highlight of that final for me. Not even the fact that I didn't... Leading up to the final, I was starting. Because Higgins, Sam Higgins got injured. Mm. And he wasn't training. And then the week before, he pulled the gaffer and said, I'm fit. I'll be ready. And the gaffer's gone. No, you're not. <laughs> like, no, you're not. No, you're not. But if he's telling you he's fit and he's scored so many goals to get you where you are, him and Liam Nash... Mm. Yeah, okay. what can you do? Yeah, you mm. So he pulled me, and, and the thing is, me and Mark Stimson have, have always had like a good relationship anyway. So he pulled me and just said, Look, Dicko, I'm going to start him, but I'm telling you now, 60 minutes, be ready. So I'm like, Didn't you come on later? No, no, no. no 60th. Bro, you changed. Has it, have you seen, did you see the final? No. He changed the game, right? Like, well, you got two, two assists? Two assists. Two assists. Mad. We were 1 0 down when I came on, and literally, um, yeah, it was just, I even had a part, well, some people had a part to play the equaliser. Ruffy scored the equaliser, but the throw came in, the guy, I jumped up with the guy, and the guy jumped up, headed it into the bar. Ruffy just had a tap in the mm. post and then the headed down to Nashi, slapped him. But I'll tell you what I felt like I had more of an impact on was the fact that we'd been training for the last six weeks. Yeah. Mm. That team, mm. Ruffy, Ruffy behind me, me up top. And then in the last week, it's changed. And so when me and Ruffy came on, it was like, yep, 
Let's go. Back to normal. Yeah. Back, back to, to normal. Where, what we've trained. What, what we've been yeah, doing yeah, for the last yeah. six weeks. Okay. Yeah. And that's just familiarity. Mm. That's just knowing that yeah. this is what it is. No, no, no offense to Spenno, mm. no offense to Sam Higgins, but because they weren't in the team mm. that, that was going to start initially, and obviously Spenno had come back from injury as well, I think. So it was that like they've gone in now and obviously go and do your thing. So I'm saying, but ultimately, the team that was actually going to start was the team that finished. Yeah. Mm. And literally, I remember just seeing my phone after the game and said, everyone's like, this guy just came to the game. He literally, mm. like, I was like, God, I need like two, two assistants. That's what I'm saying. But <laughs> I knew inside. Two assistants at Wembley. I knew deep, is... deep within myself that That's I it. had changed this game. You had. And yeah. Stimo promised me 60, uh, on 60th minute. I remember still kept my family. My family was like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on? I was like, just tapping it. I kept tapping my wrist saying, 60, 60. Tapping my wrist. And I'm like, what, 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 brother? They, they, we're losing it. The fans was that. It was, it, I'll be honest with you, the, the game generally felt dead. Up until me and Rafi came on. It didn't look great. I'm not gonna lie. I remember. And literally, as soon as me and Rafi came on, it was like a whole resurgence. It was like, whoa, we're coming alive again. And Rafi doing like kickups on the sideline for the for the Nashi's goals. It's like a madness. One of the kickups and then just licks it in the air. I win the head and Nashi comes and slaps mm. it in and it's like game over. We know we're not losing this. <laughs> Obviously, I had to shout out Ellis because Ellis is gonna watch this. <laughs> and I gave a little Ellis little flick on he ran for the halfway line and then I'll run it with him like Ellis. Go, just go, just go, go, go. And I thought, hold on a second. Is this guy going to shoot? You better square this right now. <laughs> <laughs> he shot and scored and then he was man, doing gum fingers with me. The only man I know was doing the gum fingers with me. I said, no, nah, but I love Ellis, man. And then, yeah, but it was, um that the experience for me was for my people. More yeah. than more than, yeah, yeah, yeah. semi-final touched me more because I see mm. the penalty and whatever, yeah, yeah, but yeah. The, the Wembley experience was my people. Everyone says, oh, mm. what was the stadium? Man? What, was the, what was the ground? What was the change rooms at? I'm like, yeah, it was all right, but it was good. Was it, when we were the best, best stadium we ever played in, probably not. No, yeah. but but for my people, it's the biggest experience. David, yeah, yeah. my dad doesn't stop talking about. Hey, you're my son. Yeah, he play at Wembley. You know, come and chase the game. FA Trophy. FA Cup. FA Cup. It's the FA Trophy. FA Trophy. Not FA Cup. It's the equivalent. It's the equivalent. It's the equivalent. But it's the FA Trophy. But but yeah, no, nah, literally, it was a. It's it. That was the experience. It, that was the best feeling. That all these young kids that I coach was able to Great. see me do my thing yeah. because this generation is visionless as well mm, yeah it's amazing no well done man well done man